Hello friends, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Professor Dr. Raju Shekharan. If you are a first timer to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel so that when I post my next video, you will get immediate notification. Today, an interesting topic. Uh, I, I am a PhD student, but I am unable to come out with a new idea, new problem. What should I do? This will be the question for many novice researchers, especially in the first six months and the before joining PhD and all, they'll have this question. I don't know what is how to bring out a creative solution. I don't have creativity or novel idea what I'm supposed to do. This will be one question. Second question, what if whatever I try to come out with a new solution or a novel idea, but it has been already worked by somebody else. So in that case, am I unfit to be a PhD student? No, don't worry. It's very simple. Whenever you say, find that uh, uh, problem has been already worked, it's uh, quite, quite normal. Don't worry, uh, in the beginning stage, it will look like that one. But the reason is, there are two type of students will be in the PhD. One is who never reads anything properly. Whereas other student who reads more and more and more, he would get confusion. See, PhD is kind of a level-headed uh, thing you have to do. You should read in the optimum level and uh, you should, should, what you call, you should not read, do over reading. In case you may have a over expectation from within you, from you also. See, you can't bring something entirely new. There are two ways people can bring novelty. One is entirely bringing something new that is, that is called invention. Something which is already there, but other people have not noticed, but you have noticed that is called discovery. So, when you want to give a, a novelty, in case you are a hardcore scientist, you will try to invent something new. That is one category. Another category, you will not be able to bring something new, but you will bring a new perspective, new perception. So, definitely someone could have already worked, but from there, they could have definitely left something untouched. That is the area I need to tap it and obviously you will be able to go ahead with your research. That tapping that research, that gap is called research gap. So for that, when you read the paper, first to read all the previous papers clearly, understand which one component they have missed. When you, when you, if you are able to identify that component, then you will not say that whatever I am thinking already someone has been done. Someone has done. See, the similar area the previous researchers could have worked, then from the major uh, specialization, you have to go to micro specialization. Let me give one example. You wanted to do a research in uh, uh, mental well-being of the people, but you, you go and try check and many people have done well-being about the mental well-being of the people. So, that's a very broad topic. Then now you can, what you can do, you can restrict mental well-being of the school children, mental well-being of the college children. And again, in the school, you can specific to only one particular uh, uh, primary children. That way, you can go specific. Even though people worked on mental well-being, the specific study re with relevance to primary kids could have not uh, done means you can select the topic. So, first thing, read, do first read. One category, they never read anything. Simply, they whatever they wanted to think, wanted to do, they want to do immediately. That will never work in PhD. You must do exhaustive, what you call detailed study. That study, there should be a limit. Somebody, they used to keep on reading for years together. That will never work. See, I would, I would always recommend my PhD students. I would allow them to read only six months in the beginning stage to finalize their topic. So, they'll, they, they need to identify and they, they need to familiarize everything within six months. So, after that, I would not allow them to read because till if they read another one year, then they will keep on reading, they will never finalize their uh, topic. So, then if you follow this procedure, you will not ask question, my topic has been already done. Even though it has been done, see, in everything cannot be done by other people. See, definitely there will be a one perception you can identify new for that, you know, what you call yeah, judicious reading and critical thinking and analytical thinking and uh, uh, frequent discussion with your uh, research supervisor will help you to identify. You will never say that uh, 
what if everything has been already done first of all a real phd student will never say that all my topic has uh, ha, all my topics have been already done all my ideas have been taken by somebody else no they'll never say this because you if you are able to identify the proper gap then you would never come out with this question i hope this video will be useful if it is useful kindly make a point that you are sharing to your friends let them get benefited i'll catch you in the next video bye bye